forests often feature in horror films for a reason, because they are full of all manner of creepy things. And some of the things found are truly enigmatic. These are the most mysterious forest discoveries in the world. Number 15. Little People Village If you go into the woods today, you may just find a bizarre little castle with seemingly no explanation. Actually, you've just found yourself in the middle of Little People Village, a small complex of tiny houses and stone structures. It's Hobbitland, but it's Connecticut. Specifically, Middlebury, Connecticut. According to locals, this unusual village has some bizarre origins, with legends of otherworldly creatures haunting the air and lingering around the tiny houses. Other stories tell of a woman who lived here with her husband. When she saw visions of fairies in the woods surrounding their home, she apparently convinced him to make them some structures. Eventually, they lost their minds and tragedy soon followed. The stories have become so notorious and popular that local lore now says, if you hang around the village too long, you will also hear the fairies and lose your mind. Although honestly, if you haven't lost your mind by this point, you probably haven't been paying attention. Whatever you choose to believe about Little People Village, it's probably going to be something weird. The place is just naturally creepy, which makes it a perfect location for a future horror movie of some kind, doesn't it? Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. When Truman Bensby went exploring in the same forest he regularly takes his dog for a walk in, the last thing he expected to stumble upon was the corpse of an animal he couldn't even identify. But that's exactly what happened. Well, to tell the truth, his dog, Captain Sniffle Snuffle, actually found the body when he caught a strange scent coming from the bushes. Following his dog, Truman stumbled upon this curious thing. It almost looks like a bright pink bat. Some people have even suggested it is extraterrestrial in nature. Bensby has sent the photo to experts, but none can identify it. What do you think it is? As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Costa Rican Stone Spheres in the 21st century, there are still a huge number of unsolved mysteries facing humanity. One of the most notable? The huge stone spheres found in Costa Rica. What do they mean? Why do they exist and how? All great questions, none of which have clear answers. The spheres were first discovered in the 1930s when workers at the United Fruit Company stumbled upon them while working in the Costa Rican jungle. They did what any ordinary person would do. They tried to blow it up with sticks of dynamite in the hope of finding gold. Sadly, that didn't work. The stones contained no gold. Almost a hundred years later, we're no closer to understanding exactly Exactly what these spheres are, or why they even exist. Modern experts now suspect that the key lies in their location and position rather than the spheres themselves. So if you can figure out why they are where they are, you might land yourself a Nobel Prize or a gift card somewhere. I'm a voiceover artist, I don't know how this stuff works. If we're to believe the experts, it's likely that we will never know for sure what exactly the truth is behind these most unusual spheres. All we can do is take some wild guesses. My money is on Bowling for Giants. Number 13. The Argentine Nazi Hideout in the Indiana Jones movies, it seems just about everything archaeologists find relates back to Earth's greatest villains, the Nazis. And while that's not always true in reality, it can be true quite a lot of the time. Case in point, the hidden Nazi hideout in Argentina. In 2015, archaeologists exploring a remote jungle region in North Argentina found a bunch of ruined buildings. Inside, they discovered German coins minted between 1938 and 1941, and a fragment of porcelain plate that was made in Germany. Apparently, the Nazis had begun a secret project in the midst of the Second World War. 
they were building shelters for their top leaders in the event of defeat. These shelters were located in inaccessible locations worldwide, from deserts to mountains, cliffs, and jungles, but it turns out such hideouts weren't ever needed. During the late 1940s and early 1950s, the Nazis were openly welcomed to Argentina by President Juan Perón. So I guess the Indiana Jones movies aren't all craziness and fantasy, huh? Maybe in the next movie he's going to find one of these hideouts on top of a mountain in the Alps or something. Hey, it can't be any more insane than hiding in a fridge during a nuclear attack. Number 12. The Lost City of El Mirador Yes, I will go out on a limb and say that Lost Cities are among the most mysterious forest discoveries in the world, and El Mirador, one of the most mysterious of them all. While parts of the basin have been surveyed in the late 1800s, it wasn't until 1983, archaeologists had discovered that the region's architecture was not at all like the other nearby Maya cities. It seemed to belong to a period much earlier centuries earlier in the pre-classic era to be specific. According to one archaeologist, the region may have formed the earliest well-defined political state in Mesoamerica. But if you're fascinated by that random piece of trivia, you're going to be slightly disappointed when I reveal to you that you can't actually visit the site. It's just too remote. Unless, of course, you're some kind of superhero who can fly or teleport, in which case you're going to have a dang good time exploring this lost city. But for the rest of us mere mortals, well, we'll just have to settle for chocolates and YouTube videos, which honestly sounds fine to me. Number 11. The Peruvian Boiling River when you hear the words, La Bamba, your mind probably leaps to the song, but not quite. In this case, La Bamba refers to the Chine Timpishka and tributary of the Amazon River, and a natural anomaly. You see, it turns out that this is the only boiling river in the world, known for the incredibly high temperatures of its waters. The lake measures anywhere from 45 to 100 degrees Celsius. That's 113 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, or to put it more simply, very, very hot. While the name may translate to boiled by the heat of the sun, that's not actually accurate. In fact, the heat source is geothermal, although locals don't necessarily believe that. According to local shamans, the boiling water is caused by Yukamama, a giant serpent spirit known as the Mother of the Waters. So whatever you want to believe, that's all good with us. At this point, we should clarify that the geothermal source of the boiling water is nothing more than a theory. Nobody really knows for sure. That's what makes it one of the most mysterious discoveries in all of the forests around the world, man. What else do you want from me? I'm a voiceover artist, not a forest troll. Number 10. Montana Magica Lodge. Be honest, would you want to stay in this big mountain? I imagine most people would take a look at it and respond with a pretty swift, absolutely not. There's just something about a building looking like it has eyes that freaks people out, and by people I obviously mean me. So what makes Huilo Huilo Montana Magica Lodge such a mysterious discovery? Well, it's a hotel. What are the chances of finding a hotel in the middle of a remote jungle? Pretty low, I would imagine. The hotel is actually located in the middle of 232 square miles of Chilean rainforest. So if you do happen to stumble upon it by accident, you're in for a real surprise. The hotel also features a huge man-made volcano that erupts with spa waters, as opposed to the um, uh, lesser customer-friendly lava that volcanoes tend to be known for. So, just for future reference, if you ever happen to stumble upon a hotel in the middle of nowhere, that is definitely worthy of a social media post of some kind, especially if it has a volcano that isn't going to absolutely wipe you out. That's incredibly rare. Number 9. Mega City of Angkor 
Ah, the Khmer Empire, arguably one of the least famous empires in all the world. Between the 9th and 15th centuries, the Khmer Empire was an intimidating and highly influential force, as was its capital city. In AD 802, the Khmer Hindu monarch Jayavarman II declared himself a so-called God King and Universal Monarch, a delusional self-esteem problem that kick-started the whole empire, but it wasn't until until centuries later, long after the empire's collapse, that experts managed to find the ruins of Angkor hidden away in the forests near modern-day Siem Reap City. Through the use of satellite photographs, an international team of researchers concluded that this city was once the largest pre-industrial city in the world. It was also a hydraulic city with a complicated water management network used to stabilize, store, and disperse water throughout the area. Today, the city of Angkor is a popular tourist attraction for those who want to explore all the wonders of Asia, and also for those who just love weird things in the forest. Believe me, there are more of those people than you'd imagine. People just love weird forest stuff. Number 8. The Real Life Tarzan Everybody knows the Tarzan story. It's a classic tale of a boy meet monkey, monkey adopt boy, boy become monkey, monkey boy meet girl, monkey boy and girl fall in love, and on it goes. But hey, it turns out that the whole thing is not all that far-fetched. In 1972, at the height of the Vietnam War, army vet Ho Van Than fled civilization for a new life in the deepest jungles of Vietnam. Thun moved with his two sons, teaching them to build wood houses, source water from rivers, and hunt for their own food. But in 2013, locals accidentally stumbled upon the home of the so-called real-life Tarzan, who was actually one of Thun's children. The locals reported the discovery to the local authorities, who forced the children to return to civilization, something Tarzan was reluctant to do, because he believed the Vietnam War never actually ended. Regardless of those circumstances, circumstances, it's obvious that the Tarzan story isn't all that unlikely after all. I mean, sure no gorillas adopted the children, but they lived off the land for four decades. Maybe adoptive gorilla parents and a Phil Collins soundtrack is too much to ask for in the real world. Number 7. Machu Picchu this may be one of the few places on this list that some viewers may have actually visited. For those that haven't, Machu Picchu has nothing to do with Pokemon. It's a 15th century Inca citadel with an impressive and intimidating history. Machu Picchu sits on a 7,970-foot mountain ridge above Peru's Sacred Valley. Below it, the Urubamba River flows through a canyon with a tropical mountain climate. But let's go to the real point here. Machu Picchu is often referred to as the Lost City of the Incas. However, that's not really true. In fact, locals in the area were very aware of Machu Picchu's existence. To the rest of the world, though, it took centuries. Initially built around 1,450, American historians Hiram Bingham was the one who brought it to international attention in 1911. So I guess it depends on your definition of lost. Regardless, the city has now been rediscovered and is open to curious tourists around the world, because when you really think about it, what is life without at least one trip to an ancient 15th century Peruvian Inca citadel? That's right, it's a life lacking. Let this be a lesson for you. Number 6. Bigfoot some of you are probably screaming at the screen at this point, but hey, if it's ever confirmed that Bigfoot really exists, I'll be waiting for an apology, because if the Sasquatch is out there, he is 100% one of the most amazing and mysterious forest discoveries in history. It's difficult to actually pin down where the legend of the Bigfoot began. It seems that as long as there have been stories and legends, there have been tales of this mysteriously 
large, ape-like creature. According to legend, he particularly loves the forests of North America, and if the photos and video are to be believed, he loves going for a walk. That if, however, is a big if, because experts all over the world continue to insist that not only does Bigfoot not exist, but any claim to the contrary is nothing more than a big, elaborate hoax. I'll let you guys decide if that's true or not. Regardless of whether or not you buy into the Bigfoot myth, it's obviously one of the most mysterious unanswered folk legends of our time, right up there with the Loch Ness Monster and the Twilight Zone. Does it exist? Probably. I don't know, man. Number 5. Mysterious Amazon Rings Sure, most of us may have the unfortunate tendency of impulse buying on Amazon.com, but in this case, we're not going to call you out on that. Instead, we're taking a look at a bizarre series of ditches scattered all throughout the Bolivian and Brazilian Amazon forest. They can't be easily explained by alcohol. The ditches come in the form of square, straight, and ring-like shapes, and they've confounded experts for decades. In fact, the only thing everybody can agree on is that they were man-made. But for what purpose? Well, that remains hazy. They could have been used for some kind of defense, drainage, or a religious purpose. But who the heck knows at this point? It could just be some hilarious cosmic game designed by aliens. Who the heck really knows? One thing scientists do know, however, is that these mysterious ditches were there even before the rainforest even existed. Talk about a theory killer. So it looks like we'll never totally understand how the heck these mysterious mysterious ditches came to be, or why. And for a big conspiracy theorist, that's like a golden opportunity to, you know, just come up with something entirely different that could explain it. Why the heck not? Number 4. Hiro Onoda I don't think you have to be an expert in anything to recognize that finding a human being in the middle of the forest is… weird. But when that person is a Second World War veteran who still believes the war is going on, well, that's a whole other species of weird. When World War II ended in 1945, not everybody got the message. Imperial Japanese Army officer Hiro Onoda was one of those people. For over three decades, Onoda was hiding out in the Philippine jungle, evading the search parties he had mistaken for enemy scouts. In the space of those 30 plus years, Onoda remained completely committed to his initial purpose. So when the Japanese government sent a delegation to meet him in 1974, he was not an easy sell. Despite the delegation featuring his brother and former commander, Onoda remained convinced that the war was going on. Eventually, however, they were able to get through and assure him that, no, the war had been over for many, many years. Officially relieved of his duty, Onoda returned to Japanese society and was roundly celebrated as a hero for his determination and duty to the Emperor. 30 plus years in the jungle is certainly worthy of hero status. We've seen enough Rambo movies to know it could have ended very badly. Number 3. Island of the Dolls if it's not already a horror movie, it absolutely should be. The Island of the Dolls is as horrific as you may expect. It is quite literally an island made up of various body parts of abandoned and or mutilated toy dolls. Nightmare Island, located in the channels of Xochimilco, south of Mexico City Center, La Isla de las Mircas lays just waiting to terrify another tourist. All over the island, dolls of various styles and colors rest, carefully abandoned by the island's former owner, Julian Santana Barrera. He believed that the dolls would help to chase away the spirit of a girl who tragically drowned on the island years before. Did it work? We'll never know because most of us are far too scared to ever step foot on the island. But hey, if we're just going to wildly speculate, why the heck not? Congratulations, Julian. You just cleansed an entire island of nightmares. Well, you opened up a whole new world of nightmares, but that original one is gone. The Island of the Dolls is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Mexico, but man is it weird. Who the heck wants to willingly explore an island filled with abandoned doll heads? Strange people, I guess. Good for them. Number 2. The Stonehead of Guatemala 
Now I think it's time for a pretty bizarre story, don't you? In fact, there's not much real-life information on this mysterious artifact. In 1987, a lawyer and well-known conspiracy theorist named Oscar Rafael Padilla Lara published an article about the stone head. In the article, Oscar claimed that he had received a mysterious photo of the stone head taken by a Guatemalan landowner. The photo had apparently been taken in the 1950s, but there was a problem. The man who took the photo dropped dead before he could actually reveal where the head was. But that didn't stop Oscar. In fact, he took it in stride and began claiming that he knew exactly where the head was. According to him, he spent 15 years searching for it and actually managed to find it in the 1990s. But it's worth noting that not only did he provide absolutely no proof of these claims, but his timeline also contradicted itself in multiple places. You see, Oscar had been interviewed shortly before he claimed to have found the head, and in that interview, Oscar claimed that the statue had been destroyed in 1981 by revolutionaries who totally disfigured it. So I guess the lesson here is, if you're going to lie, be consistent with it. Number 1. Siguria those of us that like taking a walk through our nearby wilderness have seen many things out in the wild, but one thing we probably haven't seen? Ancient rock fortresses. Maybe we've just been looking in the wrong forests. Siguria is an ancient rock forest located in Sri Lanka, and it's really something. According to ancient Sri Lankan legend, this unique site was selected by King Kashyapa to be his new capital. On top of the rock, he built his palace. Halfway up, he built a gateway in the form of a giant lion. That lion, incidentally, is what gives the fortress its name, the Lion Rock. The whole place was abandoned shortly after the king's death in 495 AD, but it would later be adopted by Buddhists to be a new monastery, until the 14th century that is. For the next few decades, nobody even knew this thing existed. Today, that's not the case. UNESCO has listed it as a World Heritage Site, and it's often credited as one of the best preserved examples of ancient urban planning. So maybe wilderness exploration is a phenomenal idea. Who knows what kind of incredible ancient structures you could find out there. Have you ever found anything weird in the forest? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.